Hey guys, Corey with Famous Media, and today I want to talk about Rogue's flash accessories, the flash bender and the diffuser. So today I want to talk about the flash bender and the flash diffuser from Rogue, probably the two best accessories you can get for your flash. I'm gonna start off with the Rogue Flash Bender and my Young Nuo 560. If you haven't checked my review video out on the 560, it is probably the best flash you can get for the money. 75 bucks, it'll do everything the speed lights will do except TTL, but I never shoot TTL, most professionals don't. And if you don't, check out my review on that. It is best bang for buck ever. So the Rogue Flash Bender is very good. It allows you to control where you wanna put your light. If you're doing portraits and you don't want to have light bleeding over into certain areas and you want to create backgrounds, the flash bender is the best accessory that you can possibly have on you. You can also bend it and shape it. It comes with metal rods inside that are, you know, shapeable to put the bender in any position you could possibly want. It even collapses on itself. So I'm going to show you how to put it on your flash and how it works. So to put this on is simple. You just strap it around the top of your flash unit. It will fit the SB910, the 700, and of course the Yong Nuo that I'm using it with. And you just basically strap it around the top. It's very, very easy. And there you go. This will allow you to control where you want to put the light. As you can see, you can bend it at the top. You can uh, bend it pretty much in any position you want. It allows you to control where you want to put the light. Now, one of the great features about this flash bender is it allows you to create spotlights. You can completely concentrate the light wherever you wish, and it collapses on itself to a double-sided Velcro, like so. What's so fantastic about this is you can have a couple of flash units like this creating special effects on the walls or the backgrounds, backdrops, um, wherever you wish. You can have a couple of flash benders set up similar to this, uh, pointing at the person, say if you were taking a picture of me, it would be like this, which in turn will allow the flash to reflect off my face and it prevents the flash lighting from going on your background. Okay, so let's say you're taking a picture of somebody and they're in the same position I'm in right now. You would have the flash bender set up similar to this to prevent the lighting from spilling off onto the background. So these flash benders are great for the money. They come in small and large and for $37, you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the flash diffuser and how to apply that to your flash bender. All right, so this is the flash diffuser. They're only 20 bucks. They come in the small or large that you can use depending on the size of your flash bender. And they're very easy to put on. Make sure that the uh, tab where it says Rogue faces the front bottom side of your flash. And you'll go ahead and you'll place this over top of your flash bender. They're very easy to put on. They just Velcro down onto the edge of the flash bender on either side. And then you go ahead and strap them over on the top to lock them in place. So basically when you're putting the flash bender on, you just make sure that this top tab is sealed in the back so you don't get light spill. And you can go ahead and bend this tab on the top. This way it'll create the seal for you. Now, to go ahead and place the bottom part of the flash diffuser and bender over your flash unit, you just make sure you've got your flash diffuser tab held down against your um, back of your flash unit. And then you go ahead and you hold the strap for the flash bender down and the other tab from the flash bender will lock the flash diffuser tab against the flash unit itself, creating a soft box for your flash. These are great accessories. If you're shooting at high wind conditions, umbrellas will not work and they're big and they're hard to carry around, whereas flash benders and diffusers are easy. Think about these nice setups at a wedding. They're easy to break down. You can turn it into a flash bender and it can be a soft box all in one. This is a fantastic accessory. So if you guys have never seen these before, I definitely recommend checking them out. 
I'm gonna have the links there in the bottom for you. Please support my channel, and if you plan on buying them, please buy them from the links that I provide below. Um, I hope this review has been helpful for you guys. Next week, I'm gonna be in Florida doing a couple of weddings. It's gonna be great, great weather. I'm gonna do a review on the 24 to 70, the 70 to 200, and the Nikon D800E and the D5100. So check out those videos as they're gonna be coming out. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my other YouTube videos, and happy shooting.